Ethiopia has unveiled its 10-year development plant-themed Ethiopia, an African beacon of prosperity. Why was policy reform necessary? Uh, which started out with the homegrown economic reform and now is the 10-year prospective plan. Why was it necessary? The growth that uh, Ethiopia has been registering for the last uh, decade or so uh, lacked quality. The uh, 10 year plan uh, envisions uh, Ethiopia to be an African beacon of prosperity uh, by 2030. And uh, you know, having this vision uh, uh, at the top, uh, it has this overarching goal of uh, ensuring shared prosperity, mm -hmm. prosperity in all its dimensions, where you know every citizen gets uh, you know his or share of the cake. Uh, we both know that the private sector has not been allowed to grow. Now the government really understands the bumpy road that the private sector have been through. How do you plan on then getting growth and achieving some of these fantastic ambitions that you've laid down to be achieved through the private sector? So the private sector should uh, really come into the driver's seat. Uh, you know, we have these interim strategies, for instance, the public-private partnership. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's really working well, especially in areas of energy and infrastructure. We want to expand that, of course, to other sectors too. So that would really augment the uh, capacities of the private sector. The plan encompasses the period from July 2020 to 2030. The plan focuses on ensure 10% average GDP growth over the next 10 years thereby double the current GDP per capita slash poverty by half by 2030. According to Fitsa Masefa, Planning and Development Commissioner, the 10-year program has 10 strategic pillars. Some of these pillars include quality economic growth, inclusive and resilient economy, competitive and high productivity economy and highly sustainable and strong regional economic cooperation and integration. Uh, the best economy should uh, stay in the high growth trajectory mm -hmm. uh, and we targeted to uh, register 10% uh, average GDP growth over the 10 years time and this will enable us uh, slash poverty by half and uh, you know register a cap per capita GDP of 2200 USD where we position Ethiopia as uh, you know at middle income countries level which is you know, basically double the current exactly, GDP per capita exactly double the current GDP per capita and also unemployment is targeted to reach uh, mm. to less than 9 percent in fact other goals are also included on the infrastructure side for instance uh, energy generation is targeted to reach mm -hmm. about 20 gigawatts mm -hmm. uh, and along with that you know universal access to electricity in both urban and rural areas and also similarly uh, universal access to safe drinking water in both rural and urban areas over uh, the coming 10 years. Other goals, you know, social goals which really touch the lives of uh, our citizens like in uh, human development areas, health, education uh, that align with the sustainable development goals, the Africa Agenda 2063 are also included to really improve, you know, lives and livelihoods. So, the, the, you know, the goals include the conventional economic goals and targets and also other uh, goals and targets to bring about sust uh, our really inclusive comprehensive pillars mm -hmm. uh, that include economic, social, administrative and institutional you know, issues. Uh, there are about 10 uh, pillars in this regard. You know, it, it's worth mentioning really the, these pillars and I really want to uh, list them. The first one uh, talks about quality economic growth and shared prosperity. Uh, and the second one uh, also can be component of that, but we really want to see that uh, separately as a standalone pillar because we really lack 
productivity and competitiveness in all our sectors and that's the second pillar. Uh, the third uh, pillar talks about you know, sustainable development financing. That's also where we fell in the past uh, decade and so uh, this time around we want to really raise sustainable development financing. The other one relates to uh, technological capacity and digital economy. So that's also the area that we haven't touched. So that's uh, the fourth pillar. The other pillar uh, talks about really uh, bringing the private sector to the forefront, like the private sector's leadership uh, of the economy and the development. And the other one is building resilient green economy. It has been there, but we have to continue working on that. So our economy should be resistant to any shock, be it natural, man-made, or any kind of shock that we have been witnessing uh, recently. You can uh, see COVID, you know, desert locusts, uh, floods, drought, yeah. Uh, the other pillars uh, relate to institutional related pillars. Institutional transformation should happen if we have to continue growing, you know. Uh, and also the other pillar about access to justice in public services. The other pillar again relates to uh, development participation, empowerment and uh, you know, social inclusion. That's also important because the growth that we had registered in the development that came about through that uh, you know, approach was not inclusive as I mentioned earlier. So that's also important. The final uh, pillar talks about you know, the region. Uh, so Ethiopia is not an island. Mm. It can't develop, you know, uh, <coughs> separately. So regional uh, development uh, cooperation and integration and also building sustainable peace uh, is the uh, last pillar. The commissioner further said that the current plan departs from its predecessors as its success will be measured on result-based monitoring and evaluation system with better emphasis on accountability which is preferable in such cases over the usual process-based system. If you want to see the full interview, please check for the link in the video description. You can also get it directly from Office of the Prime Minister Ethiopia YouTube channel. We would like to congratulate the Commissioner, and we wish Ethiopia success. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to push the like button and subscribe to our channel if you have not done so already.